Oh, that's been great. Yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun. This is a fun group of guys, a lot of young guys. Um, being one of the older people in the group is a little weird now. It's my third summer league, but uh, it's been fun. Is this a, a good spot for you to try and hook on and have some open roster spots, with open two-way spots? Is this a good place for you? I think we'll see. I mean, it depends. There's a lot that can happen. Um, just kind of wait and see. Is that why you chose to be with this team? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was definitely one of the possible options. Um, you know, we're trying to see if it'll work, obviously, talking to the team and everything like that. So we'll see what yeah. Obviously, we've watched the last couple of games, so I have some sense of the answer to this. But what do you feel like you can do? A lot of shot blocking, defense. Um, you know, we have a lot of scores on this team, uh, but my job is to get them open, get them to the rim, um, check their and get the score down on the other end. Yeah, there's been a few. I like plays that started with your screen. Yeah. Is that maybe a little more, you have an understanding of how you can allow teammates to have opportunities to score more than Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's kind of how it's played out, and that's what's been, you know, what's been available, and I've, you know, I've seen opportunities where I'm like, okay, then if I can get this guy going downhill, I'll be able to really explosive athletes. Um, just making plays to win games. And how do you feel about just your chemistry with the other guys, being able to play off of some of them, like some of the screens that Jonathan was just talking about? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, it's, you know, they're really skilled guards, uh, really, you know, easy to play with. Just, you know, get them open and knock down shots when I can. You knocked down that three real early in the first game. And there's some teams that don't want their summer shooting a lot of pick yeah. and pop. They want them going. This team, I think, is open to that. Yeah. Is that something that makes this a better fit for you than some of the ones I can name? I think that most teams, while you know, pick and pop isn't always what they're looking for, um, having bigs that can shoot is never bad. Most most teams, even if it's not the main thing they're big is there for, if they can do that, it's bad. What have been the goals that you've kind of discussed with the coaching staff, the things that they've wanted you to try to bring to the table for this team? Uh, when I set screens, it's been more rolling uh, to get the next action open because when I roll, like I, I'm a lob threat, and so people have to draw in from the low side, and then that leaves the corner threes open, that leaves everything else open. And then defensively? Block shots, everything, I hit the rim, rebound. How do you feel about the communication on the defensive side with so many, a lot of young guys, but also, you know, the group hasn't been together that long. How do you feel that it's grown from just, you know, the first couple practices through the first couple games? It's definitely gotten a lot better. Um, you know, they are still young, and I think that that's something that they're going like, to have to learn to do. That's what this is. Like, that's what summer league is for. You know, you can make mistakes here so that as time comes in the season, you remember that and you can learn from it. I think as it's gone on, it's like the communication's gotten a lot better. And I think having me here to know hopefully fix a lot of mistakes at the rim like just like if if a mistake is made you know try to go block a shot um you know that's always been my goal as a teammate is to cover cover for everybody um you know i always tell people don't foul if your man gets past you like just send them to me and go box my man out um because even if they get it over my hand uh it has less of a chance of going in do you consider yourself a, a defensive quarterback in a way yeah i mean i think uh you know, being able to see everything from kind of the post area, just from behind. You know, I have to call out every screen, basically. I've been around long enough to where I can see most of the actions that a team is about to run. Uh, most teams run a very similar offense. Uh, and once you've been playing for a few minutes, you can typically tell what a team is going to run unless they run a special play. Uh, so, you know, I'll see, like, see a screen going one way. Uh, even if it's not mine, uh, so I, I do think so. Yeah. And being kind of one of the you know one of the older guys, how do you feel kind of like imparting your wisdom, your knowledge to some of these other guys who are just like this is their first time kind of seeing all this? Yeah, I mean, I, I try to do it in a way that's like, like I know I know some people probably get impatient, um, and in my position, I can see why that's easy to do. Um, but at the same time, like I you know, I've been in their spot, and it's a lot more helpful to come alongside at a timeout or dead ball and be like, hey, like next time that they run this, you know, call out this screen for me or, you know, just be ready to be a low man, like be there a second earlier. Um, and I think that most people are more receptive to that than there would be somebody who's part of that. Who's your agent? Michael Siegel. I'm sorry? Michael Siegel.